Hello, I'm Kevin Aftung, Director and Chief of Emergency Services for Queen Anne's County. Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman with Queen Anne's County. And we're here today to offer some tips to make you have a safe and happy Halloween. Our goal is for your Halloween to be very safe and all your ghouls and goblins out there to get that one special treat. First, let's talk about Halloween costumes. You should make sure they have a label inside that says flame resistant or flame retardant. This ensures that the costume your child is wearing will not easily ignite if exposed to a flame. And if it does expose to a flame, it will easily be extinguished. The other thing you want to make sure is there's always speeding vehicles out there and persons not paying attention. Make sure those costumes are bright and colorful and make sure that you can see clearly out of the eye holes. Another thing to check on the costume just to make sure it is safe is that it has adequate ventilation for a small child because sometimes the eye holes may be oversized but the ventilation may not be adequate to keep your child safe during the night. One of the other important safety tips to always remember is to avoid the homes of sex offenders. Always be out there and know your surroundings. Know the homes that you go to are parent approved and safe. Let's talk about your house if you have children come to your house. Make sure there's no extension cords that children can trip over. Make sure you have adequate lighting on, on your house so that children know they're welcome. And make sure you keep pets away from the door so that we don't frighten our own little ghouls and goblins. And parents remember that when you do get back to the house at the end of the night, please take the time just carefully inspect the candy. One, make sure it's not tampered with, but two, make sure it's nutritious and safe that you approve that your child eats that. Avoid using candles as decorations. Obviously, there can be a flame problem with a candle around a child's costume. The other thing too is make sure that, like Kevin said, candles are great and very decorative at times, but it's improper to use them for lighting pathways and different things like that. Always have children carry a flashlight or something to illuminate their way. Makes them visible, makes them safe, and there's no risk of any fire. And last but not least, be sure to check your child when they come home at the end of the evening to make sure they haven't injured themselves in some way that you're not aware of. Simple things like the right shoes under the costume can prevent a slip, a trip, or a fall. The other thing too is report any suspicious activity. I know all those ghosts and goblins out there are gonna look really suspicious, and there's gonna be a lot of paranormal activity in the community. However, if you see something suspicious, you're urged to document it and report it to law enforcement. Remember, it's up to the community as well to help us keep our children safe. Let's keep Queen Anne's County safe this Halloween by following these simple safety tips that we have offered. Happy Halloween.